All right, everyone, I am in rural Arkansas. I'm in the Delta. Big flatlands area just off the Mississippi River. Some of the best farmland in the country. Got a handful of towns I'm going to show you. Here's a look at the map real quick first, though. Now, this town is McCrory. McCrory, Arkansas. The median age of McCrory is 36. That's lower than the U.S. Uh, median, which is 39. A little bit younger town. 76% of this town is white. 23% is black. Last 1% is Hispanic. Heading into downtown. Let's take a look at it real quick. A few more numbers. Median household income here is 36,600 a year. That's $703 a week. That's about half what it is in the US as a whole. The US median is 74,000. Poverty, not bad, 23%. 17 and under, it's 26%. Folks 65 and older, it's 13%. But cost of living, it's pretty low here. So actually, with that factored in, it's not bad numbers. It is a Wednesday, mid-November, about 9.30 a.m., it's got some signs of life in this downtown. Median home value here is $81,000. There's a lot going on there, isn't there? Hmm. Uh, streets look real nice though, don't they? Streets are real pretty, I think. Crime, it's pretty low. 21 incidents per 1,000 people. For the U.S., it's 23, so they're a little bit lower. You guys see that? Oh, he didn't hang around too long, did he? Still, that's a cat, guys. Can't say I didn't find one. Anyway, the uh, crime numbers, it's mostly property. They actually had five violent crimes here total last year, four assaults, and one rape. Oh boy, that's not a good one. Anyway, oh, another cat. Now, did I give you a population yet? I don't think I did, which means I'm slacking, aren't I? Well, in 1990, the population was a little under 2,000. That was peak population. Today there are about 1,700. So the town has lost about 300 people over the past 30 years or so. So it's uh, slowly, I don't wanna say dying, but the town is, it's not growing. I had to show you this. That is the McCrory Waterworks Water Tower built in 1936 during Roosevelt's New Deal era that is on the National Register. A landmark of the town. Now here's a building I want to show you. Doesn't look like they're doing anything with it, but it is pretty significant. This is the Dr. John William Morse Clinic. It was built in 1936. It is on the National Register. It's what they call craftsman architecture. It uses uh, local uh, wood and rock in its construction. That is one of the uh, signature things about it. And it uses earth colors usually brown and green. But 
The most significant thing about this building is the doctor himself, Dr. William Morris. He was a doctor up until he was 101 years old, and he was the only doctor in this area. And at the time, he was the oldest practicing physician in the United States, and that is the building that he used. Yeah, it looks like nothing is going on with it now, though. You hate to see that. Something I caught down one of the uh, side streets here is this. Check it out, a theater. I mean, it's not an operation. It's too bad. I bet that neon looks really cool lit up. You wonder what they do for movies here. There it is, another cat. That's the third cat. It's a good cat day. Let's see what he's doing. He's trotting out onto the downtown street, Main Street, like he owns the place. Aren't you, fella? Now, he doesn't even care about me. Oh, well, now he looks at me finally. <laughs> anyway, you wonder what people here do to go to the movies. Nearest city is Little Rock. That's over an hour away. Hmm. I guess that's just something in towns like this that you don't get to do. You don't get to go to the movies. Look at that beautiful house. The town has a grocery store called the Mad Butcher. That is my favorite name for a grocery store ever. The Mad Butcher. And there is a Dollar General right next door. I've been looking for a fire department because a lot of you want me to show you that. Can't find one. I just looked on Google Maps and according to it, this town does not have a fire department. I'm a little surprised by that. This town seems to have everything else. Morris Gin Company. Ton of churches. I have spotted at least five churches here already. Right, here's one right here Prince of Peace Baptist Church. Religion is big in this town. You know, you just drive in any neighborhood, though. Residential street. This is what you see. It's pretty, isn't it? There's a lot of nice houses here. $81,000 median home value. That's it's almost kind of hard to believe. You know, that means half the homes cost more than 81000 but half costs less. But I haven't really seen any really bad looking homes in this entire town. It's just inexpensive to live in. Yeah, beautiful houses. town's really nice. It is losing population. Not super fast, but it is slowly fading away, I guess. Very slowly. But it is nice. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, let's head to the next town.
Well, everyone, I am in Augusta, Arkansas. Here's a map to take a look at real quick. I am making my way into downtown. Really stately homes here. I mean, real beauties. Peak population of Augusta was in 1980. There were 3,500 people here. Today there are 2,000. So that's pretty big population loss. Almost half the past, uh, what's that, 43 years? What a house, though, right there. Let's see, I'm going to make my way into downtown. Uh, median household income in this town is 44000 a year. That's $944 a week. That's pretty good, considering the cost of living, which is, according to the cost of living index, 22% lower than the rest of the country as a whole. It's an older town, though. Median age is 44. 56% of the town is white. 42% of the town is black. 1% Hispanic and 1% mixed. That's downtown. Doesn't look like a lot is going on here. Not surprising given the pretty substantial population loss. A lot of empty storefronts. Boarded up on this side. Looks like an old theater that has been sitting empty for quite a long time, though. Still got the no sh uh, now showing sign, though. Nice. Uh, poverty, kind of high here. 21% overall, but for children 17 and under, it is 41%. Folks 65 and older, though, it's only 2%. 2% retirement age uh, poverty. That, that's maybe the lowest I've ever seen. It's a big church there. Housing is 63% lower here. Median home value here is $96,000. Just checking out some of the houses here. Those are not very expensive. Interesting. I wonder what the story is behind those, because they all, well, they all look the same. Hmm. Now this is a real pretty house. Looks really cozy, doesn't it? It's old, but I like that style of home. Now crime in this town, what do you think it is? High or low? It is low. It is really low. Last year nine incidents per 1,000 compared to the U.S. which is 23. I know you guys can see what I'm seeing. It's a cat right in the middle of the road. I don't think he's going to let me uh, go by. Thanks, fella. That's a pretty cat, isn't it? 
Wow, it's a beauty. Anyway, um, well, I'm checking out some of the stuff here. Crime very low. They had 17 crimes total here last year in this town of 2000. 15 of them were property crimes. Two were violent. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Two violent crimes total. One was robbery. And the other was assault. Oh, my camera is on my gimbal. He's not straightening out. There he goes, a little bit. Augusta is situated along the White River. See it right there. Pretty major waterway back in the day. Anyway, I'm just looking around the town, trying to find a grocery store, but I have seen nothing yet. The town seems big enough to have one. Quite a few abandoned places here. That's kind of beautiful though, isn't it? Pretty quiet here today. I was just here. Yeah. That is an incredible amount of stuff. It's just crazy. It would take forever to clean that up. <laughs> I don't think I would even try. Wow. That's crazy. They do have a Dollar General. And not only that, it is a Dollar General market. Which is a full-fledged supermarket. A small one. But they've got fresh produce and meat there. So, that's a pretty good deal for this town. Well, it turns out they have the trifecta. Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar. I see a grocery store here. Uh, let me show it to you. Country Mart Deli, but it looks like it is closed and out of business. There are no cars there. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to head to the next town, the last town, and uh, let's see what's going on there. Yeah, so that's coming up next.
All right, everyone, I'm in the town of Des Ark. Des Ark, Arkansas. The first people to this area, aside from Native Americans, were French trappers and hunters, which would explain the name of the city. In 1980, there were 2,001 people in this town. In 1990, there were 2,001 people in this town. So, for those two census, the town stayed exactly the same population. Today, there are a little over 1,900 people. So, it's not lost a lot of population. It's kind of hanging in there. I'm going to turn out onto downtown here. Median age of the town is 48, so it's a little bit older. Seventy-eight percent of this town is white. Sixteen percent is black. One percent Hispanic. And then the last five percent is mixed. Median household income in this town is 34000 a year. That's $658 a week. Cost of living is pretty low though. 18% lower than the national average. Housing, however, is 61% lower than the U.S. as a whole. Median home value here is 75000 Poverty is, well, it's low, 11% overall. For children 17 and under, it's only 8%. Folks 65 and older, it is also 8%. All right, I'm at this uh, county courthouse. Let's take a look at this. It's a pretty spectacular building. There it is. Isn't that something? Built in 1900. No, I'm sorry. Built in 1913. It is a combination of colonial revival with a little Italian Renaissance thrown in. That's a crazy mix. Of course, colonial, you'll see everywhere on the East Coast, New England, New Hampshire, uh, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. But you see the pillars there. That's more Italian Renaissance. This town, like the last town, is on the White River. Contributed to its economy quite a bit in the 1800s. There's the bridge I just crossed coming into town. I'm sure you guys remember that just a minute or two ago. It's really nice here, isn't it? I'm just kind of driving through the neighborhoods here. There's a house I'm going to show you. I am um, kind of shocked that it just sits here seemingly empty. That was a beautiful home once. You just hate to see that. How does that even happen? Anywhere else in the country, any big city anyway, that house is worth a fortune. And there it sits, riding into the ground. Astonishing, really. Well, you guys see him. How many cats is that now? Cats love Arkansas. 
the uh, lumber industry is a big business in this part of Arkansas. You see this um, all over the place. Now out here in the country, they do things differently. You got stuff you need to get rid of, you just burn it. One of the things you see a lot of is pit fires. People just throw all their stuff in it, burn it. Don't worry about dumps here, even though they're probably is a dump somewhere. The residential streets of this town though are actually real nice. It's a pretty town. A lot of space. Big yards. Even a smallish house like this it's got a real big yard. Lots of room. You know, that's what you get out in the country. One of the pluses. All right, everyone. So that will be the end of this video. Up next, we are heading into rural Tennessee. So be looking for that one. We will see you there.